Hello guys welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing good and thanks a lot for showing so much love on my last video and uh, if you haven't watched that video the i button is here you can click it and maybe you can watch that video in today's video we will be discussing how we can develop our linkedin profile how we can grow our linkedin profile and as a fresher most of us are very confused and we don't know the importance of linkedin and when we try using linkedin we see that we are not getting likes comments engagement and uh, you know the impressions are not coming in so as a fresher what you can do to develop your linkedin profile get more engagement and in today's world right in today's industry it is very important for you to be very active on linkedin you know uh, i am working in my third organization right now and all the organizations where i did my internship and the first organization where i joined all these companies i got through linkedin right so if you are someone who is looking for job opportunities if you are in your first second third or fourth year of college make sure you're very active on linkedin and if you don't know how to do it then that's why i'm here for so without further ado let's dive into the video okay so i believe you guys can see my screen now this is my linkedin profile right now first what i'm quickly going to tell you guys is what are these different different uh, options that you see and uh, what is the basic interface that you see when you are making your account in linkedin right now the first thing that you see is the home button where you can see all the feeds or all the posts of different people who are posting and these can be your followers or this can be the people you are following the different pages the different groups that you have joined so all the updates that is happening in uh, these groups or pages or whatever people are posting you would be seeing in your home feed right now this is how it looks like now let's say uh, i'm I, i'm i'm following one of the founders right of unstop now he has posted something so it will appear in my news feed second coming to my network when you click on my network it will basically tell how many connections you have connections is basically the friends that you uh, see in facebook in the same way or in in instagram you see followers right the same way in linkedin you call them connections now as of now i have 600 connections right so let's say if i want to manage my connections now what i'll do i'll go to connections right i'll click it there and see there are 600 connections and these are the people with whom i'm connected with right now let's say if i want to unfollow someone or unfriend someone then i can just click on remove connection and so basically this is how i would be managing my connections that i have on linkedin now going back to the previous page you would be seeing some other options now these contacts will be the contacts that may be there in your contact phone's contact list right so you can go and go through them following and followers right now when you click on following and followers i'm following 47 people right now these 47 people whom i'm following are maybe uh, the entrepreneurs or the ceos or uh, the different professionals from different industries so there are 47 people that i am following and when you see followers now followers are the people who are following you maybe so i have currently around 832 followers right now these followers will eventually come in as you are becoming more active on linkedin right now coming back to the previous options so you right now know what is manage connections you know what is following and followers in the same way there are groups which basically will tell you how many groups have you joined in linkedin and events page will give you updates some uh, updates about different events that are happening and there are 80 pages that i'm following now these pages are basically the company pages that i'm following so since i am very focused into healthcare sector most of the companies that i follow are from the healthcare domain like cook medical medtronic medworks zogdoc where i am currently working active surgical icure medical momentous surgical so a lot of companies that i follow now that's about pages no different pages that i follow and there are newsletters so newsletters i'm not subscribed to any so basically if you're subscribing to a newsletter uh weekly basis you will be getting updates from whatever specific newsletter you have a uh, newsletter you have registered for now that is basically about my network and there are different different suggestions that you can see now let's say there are few uh, profiles in my uh page currently which shows that maybe i can connect with them but the reason why i won't connect with them is basically they all are from a different domain like the it domain so since they are from a different domain connecting with them may not be that beneficial for me and one important thing that you have to note down at this point of time is 
LinkedIn is not a platform like Facebook or Instagram wherein you can just send friend requests to random people or connect with random people right because see this is a platform where you have to be very professional you are uh, using LinkedIn to either get a job opportunity or develop your you know professional following or whatsoever may be the reason so what you have to make sure is now let's say you are in a first year right you are in the first year of your college and there are multiple friends that you will have from different departments now linkedin is not a platform where you will you know add everyone to your linkedin now i may have a different outlook towards this because when i made i made my linkedin profile when i was uh, when i qualified my 12th standard now at that point of time uh, i watched a lot of youtube videos to understand what linkedin is and all about so i have been using linkedin from so long right now the problem is if you are connecting with random people from different different industries then the news feed that you will have right now let's say i want to get job opportunity from healthcare domain or some in some medical equipment company and in my contacts most of the people are from the software development domain or any from some other domain the linkedin's algorithm may not be to understand what is specific thing that i'm interested to pursue right now so you have to be very serious about the kind of connections that you make so if i show you my connections now see uh, aniket patel steve steve vivian debashish dash tabrez prashant now all the, most of the people that you see are from the healthcare domain right either they are in the healthcare domain or they are pursuing higher studies specifically in the healthcare domain right so maybe you can see few of them now what happens is I have connected with most of the people who are in the healthcare domain. Now, when I am doing that, what happens is, now let's say one of my connection is uh, liking a post that is very you know uh, relevant to the healthcare domain. It will come to my feed, telling that okay, this person have liked this post. Maybe you will be, maybe you would be interested to learn more about it. So, you have to make sure that the people you are adding to your LinkedIn, they are either. they are from the domain that you want to pursue or they can be from the different domain but they should be the decision makers so according to what i believe if we are surrounded with people who are more uh, intelligent than us or who are more uh, stable than us it 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 creates an environment that we also tend to learn a lot of things from them and there is a saying that you know you become an average of uh, the surrounding that you are in so basically what i try to do is i usually connect with you know uh, the senior folks in the industry the ceos the cfos or you know the decision makers of the company and so on and so forth right so when i'm doing that you can see my news feed most of the things that you will see would be relevant to either the healthcare domain or something similar to that coming back so basically the first point that you want to note again i will summarize it for you is linkedin is not a platform where you can connect with random people you right make sure the connections that you are making or the connections that connection requests that you are sending is relevant to your interests and the domain that you want to continue in right then comes jobs now again there are two kind two two set of people who would be watching this video one would be the freshers or the students who are pursuing their studies the second would be the people who are maybe looking for job opportunities so i will be making a different video for both the set of audiences but right now let's focus on the basics so as a fresher let's say if you are a college student what can you do to get job opportunities by the end of fourth year right so i will quickly tell you some few important points which you can maybe uh, note down or you can think about but apart from that i'll make a different a detailed video as to tell you how you can develop your profile in such a way that you can get job recommendations now if you see my job opportunities most of the job opportunities are from healthcare domain now this is inside sales executive from crossover now crossover is a remote job opportunity it is like a hiring platform for uk us and right you will be basically working from home now they pay 100000 dollars a year and it's a completely remote work with a lot of perks so if i click here i can get to know more about it then i'm i have an associate position in new ventures which is into health about again a few of my favorite companies so i have put a lot of reminders from about metronics so as soon as a new opening comes in i'll be getting notified now 14 hours before 20 hours before 14 hours before as soon as they're getting job opportunities 
i'll be notified about the same but right now i'm not looking for any opportunities so i will not be going ahead with that now these uh, these roles or these job opportunities that you see it is basically the recommendations that linkedin gives you based on the post that you have done based on the work experience that you have got it will also recommend you a few of the uh, another job opportunities as well hiring in your network so in my current network network is basically the connections i have so in my current connections as of now there are three companies which are hiring and all these companies my connections are working so in cryo.do two of my mutual connections are working in entropic seven of my mutual connections are working so let's say if i want to work with or apply to this job opportunity which is sales development representative for entropic maybe i can reach out to my connections and ask for a referral right so that is how uh, some of the job opportunities would be there now what you have to do to again segregate your job opportunities my jobs is basically the jobs that you apply job alerts is something that see for example i have added a job opportunity for abbott metronic striker and uh, striker worldwide then jobs in worldwide so these are few of the alerts that i have made so as soon as a opening is there from any of these companies i'll be getting notified about the same and you can also add the same in your job alerts so as a fresher i will tell you what to do in a detailed video so wait for that skill assessments again a wonderful thing that you can do there are a lot of uh, tests or assessments that you can take to get that badge and when you are applying for a job opportunity you will be uh, you know getting shortlisted at a faster pace compared to the other people who maybe have not taken this assessment test now that is about assessments interview prep it is a premium version of linkedin where you can prepare for the interviews in which you are getting shortlisted resume builder now let's say if you have your linkedin profile up to date you can either download that profile or else what you can do is you can upload your resume so what happens is once you upload your resume here okay now let's say i am applying for this job i won't be applying it but i'll show you now let's say i have to apply for this job right it's an easy apply job so i'll click in easy apply i'll fill in the basic details i'll click on next and the resume is already uploaded because i have uploaded it from my settings section and i just have to continue it and submit it so in this way you the the pace at which you apply for jobs it becomes very fast and you don't have to you know search for a resume and then upload it and do all these things it basically increases your productivity when you are applying for job opportunities job seeker guidance is basically you know there are few things if you have linkedin learning there are few things that you can learn from this which will help you to apply in a better way and get shortlisted in a better way so this is something that it would help you for it is called job seeker assistance now coming back to the previous page now we have covered home section we have covered my network we have covered job section now again i will be making a different videos for college students and for the people who are looking for job opportunities messaging basically all the messages that you send it will be appearing here coming to notifications all the notifications that you get with respect to your profile you will be getting it here now few of the opportunities now i recently posted about my new job opportunity right a uh, new job Uh, opportunity that i got so i put a gratitude post and on that i have got around 58 uh, reactions 16 comments and i have 1500 impressions now when you are active on linkedin these impressions is something that has to go up all the time if i click on impressions you can understand what kind of audience are following you and what kind of things you you are like see basically out of 1500 impressions 3.7% are from the BDAs the business development associates so basically out of 1500 people 3.7% of people who have seen my uh, post in linkedin are from the business development associate title other than that 3.7% people from sale uh, software engineering then sales managers then business development managers and then sales development representatives so this is the breakdown of basically the job titles or uh, the people who are viewing my post with respect to their job titles now let's say if i want to see how many people have seen my post from different different companies then i can maybe select companies so from scalar 12.2% people have viewed the post from metronic 5.7% zogdog 3.6% striker 2.3% and cognizant 1.6% so my ultimate goal is to get into metronic striker or a bot 
and the reason why i'm very active on linkedin is because i want the people who are working there or the decision makers who are working there to maybe engage with my post and understand that yes i'm very active on linkedin i am updating myself in the healthcare domain so that is about the companies right now industries let's see how many people from healthcare industry uh 7% 7.7% from healthcare 8% from medical equipment and uh, IT service and IT consulting is around 15% and software development 10% the reason why IT service and software development percentage is higher is because one year i was working with an IT firm where i was putting a lot of uh, posts articles and uh, newsletters about software development and about different different uh, things that are happening in the IT domain so that is why i was uh, getting a lot of engagement at that point of time and that is why bec- uh, that is exactly why i am getting more percentage views uh, with respect to exposure of my profile and eventually right now i am slowly um, focusing on developing uh, the you know engagement with the healthcare providers in healthcare sector more so i am working towards that so yeah now as i was telling you guys notifications is basically you will be getting notified about all the things that uh, someone is doing or the people you are following and pretty much things like that now the finally me right me is basically your settings or the profile so i'll go to me i'll click on the drop down arrow which is this and i'll click on view profile now when you are new to linkedin this will be completely blank right now listen to me very carefully i will be telling you guys how to make sure that your profile is up to the date right first uh, make sure you are shifting it to a creator's profile i'll tell you how to do that as well in the later videos but this is just a basic video right first thing you have to keep a very professional profile picture which showcases that yes you are a working individual and the cover now different people would have different cover photos now let's say uh, one of my friend right from college uh, riya siriak if i open her profile she will have a different cover photo which is this now this is completely blank right now someone now let's say if i am uh, viewing this profile and maybe the kind of impression that i'll have for this profile will not be that great because the cover photo is not there right let's let's look at uh another profile right now maybe we'll see from we'll select one profile from the suggestions and uh, we we can maybe uh, go through their profile as well so the point i'm trying to tell you guys is basically you you should make sure that your profile should be up to the date it should look attractive now see this is deeban's profile now again uh, one of my friend is working in metronic now if someone is opening his profile they can very well understand that he is working in metronic and is someone who is very professional right and if you see his description he is a biomedical engineer currently working in metronic specialization in medical devices and is also a sportsman a, a short summary about this individual that i could understand as soon as i opened the profile so basically the first thing that you should keep in mind is you should have a very professional profile picture and on top of that you should have a good cover image now i make sure to uh, use the cover image which i manually designed for myself now if someone is seeing my cover page right they can understand i am a biomedical engineer i am very much interested into sales and business development and i am a tech savvy person and i'm proving empowering tech professionals to soar higher in their careers and make positive impact in healthcare now this basically refers to two things i like mentoring people and the second thing is i am very much interested to make a positive impact in the healthcare domain now once you do these things you have to come on the bottom now this is a descript uh, description that you put now for freshers it should be something like aspiring biomedical engineer or a first year biomedical engineering undergraduate something catchy which should look professional so if someone is reading my uh, description or the profile heading it will basically say i'm a sales development representative at zocdoc i am a biomedical engineer i have worked as a career strategist i am a productivity coach as well biomedical innovator which means i love innovating or i love exploring the biomedical domain i am a startup enthusiast i have interest in working with the startup and i plan to develop my own startup in the future tech industry observer i basically keep in touch with all the technological advancements that are happening in the industry and i am a lifelong learner which basically means i keep learning and from different different people and i'm open to learning so basically the summarization will leave a positive impact about my profile right then these hashtags that you see it will eventually come as you grow in linkedin 
you don't have to put it it will automatically put now based on my work experience based on the things that i have done linkedin tells that i am interested in learning i am interested in educating i am interested in career growth software developer now i was working as uh you know a consultant for software developers so that is why it says hashtag software developer and business development right post that now see all these things how you will add is basically you have to click in this edit icon that you see but before that i will just tell you what these things mean bengaluru karnataka india is the current place where i am in contact info if you click in you can get all the contact details which is my linkedin profile my website my phone number my address my email id and my twitter handle right so it's up to the date so if a recruiter goes through my profile wants to contact me just have to click on contact info and they'll reach to me now below that uh, i have added link to my youtube channel in which you guys are watching the video right now so if someone uh, stalks me or someone is trying to go through my profile they also understand that yes i am having a youtube channel and below that you can see 832 followers and i have around 500 plus connections how to add all these things click on this edit icon and first this is the first thing that you do when you make a profile in linkedin right now your first name your last name your additional name which is basically if you have if you are a working professional maybe working for the us or the uk or a remote job maybe you can have a alias that you can add to your name so you can add that name as well pronouns is basically how others know how to refer you and uh, headline now this headline is basically the description i was talking about so i've made sure that it it is so on and so forth based on the experience and my interests my current position which is sales development representative at zogdoc and show current company in my intro yes it shows current company in my intro industry where i'm working in is currently hospitals and healthcare and my education is from karun institute of technology and science location city and contact info you can add all these things website if you don't have a website it's completely fine you can leave it empty and then you click on save so click on save this is exactly how your profile will look right now this is just uh, i i would say 5 to 10% of the entire thing that you have to do and uh, you now these are the two things that we added right now in zogdoc is the place where i'm working right now and karunia is where i graduated from so this basically is the main part in your linkedin profile okay now coming down now see this is something that you can turn on to get more engagement now since i am creating a lot of youtube videos and newsletters i have turned on the creator mode which helps me to get exposed to much more individuals who are there in the industry and featured right coming back to featured featured is basically let's say if your name was published by a newspaper or if your name was published by article you can add those featured things here so i have couple of featured now this was the time when i was working with al- ar- around you know uh, seven to eight uh, doctors and in that post i got around 100 reactions and 15 comments then this was my this was my first uh, first i would say business pitch that i made for you know one of the hospitals in kerala and again 101 reactions and 16 12 to 16 comments so when you add these kind of things a person when they are opening their profile they get a good impression about you right now then i was also mentioned in uh, one of the cpr events that i took part in right like basically we conducted this entire event and this is basically the newsletter photo of that and uh, basically i have added a lot of pictures to make sure and you know <laughs> that it is an authentic coverage and i have actually contributed a lot this was the meetings that we were, we we were planning and basically the project planning that we were doing and uh, a lot of things that we did which is video recording video shooting editing and what not and this prof- this basically got me around 2600 impressions and uh, again the, the the success after the events all these things when you add it in your featured events it basically creates a lot of impact in your profile it makes sure that your profile is more authentic and you are someone who is exposed to multiple domains so all so all those things uh, you can add in your featured section as a fresher what can you add as a fresher your college magazine would cover your name or your segments and all these things you can add that 
and uh, if you are winning any event you can add that so you know as a fresher they don't expect you to have these things but yes you should maybe mention your achievements or whenever a college mentions your name maybe it can be in the website it can be the linkedin profile make sure you are taking a screenshot putting in your featured list with a short description about what exactly you were published for then now basically these activities is something that you don't have to care about coming down you would be seeing the about section now this is my favorite part right because i like to talk about myself and when an interviewer or when an individual comes to your profile they want to know more about you and they don't want to call you or talk to you directly what they can do is basically they can read through the about section so hey there i am a btech biomedical engineer turned into aviation healthcare professional blah 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 blah, blah. and <laughs> it basically talks about me and the top skills i have not highlighted this basically linkedin has highlighted it for me my top skills are biomedical engineering and uh, understanding about healthcare industry healthcare as you know a domain and also the business development job profile as well then comes the experience now i won't talk much about experience right but i would tell you as a fresher what are the things that you could add because when you are a fresher you are not sure what to add and what not to add in the experience domain so this was my first internship that i did in the second year of college i have made sure i have given a short description about what i did and then the certificate i have attached then i have also mentioned uh, the clubs in which i was part of wherein i was holding uh, you know the responsibilities so i was working as head of finance for karunya innovation and incubation cent- uh, center which is my college club i was working as a marketing coordinator for iaaa karunya then i was working part time as english tutor tutor for one of the organizations called q in one and then 2021 2020 was covid 2021 was post covid it was coming down slowly and that point that point of time i again got another internship and if you see i got this internship from linkedin right so i was working there as prosi- pro- process design and production intern and uh, then i did a, another internship as soon as that one finished i did a virtual internship which was hill clinical education network which is uh, a us based virtual internship then once that finished june to september i was simultaneously doing another internship which was case which was conducted by case western reserve university which is in ohio united states so internships and the positions that you hold during the time of your college is something that you should add in, add in your experience because obviously you are not a working individual and then i was working as an intern with icat for one year and then i came to scalar academy worked here for one worked here for 10 to 11 months again linkedin helped me get this job and finally right now i'm working as zogdoc from la- this is my first month and also linkedin got linkedin helped me get this job so if you see my profile 2 3 4 4 of my experiences have come from linkedin right i don't have to go and search out and all these things from the comfort of my linkedin i got to fetch these internships right so the more experience that you add it basically tells how exposed you are or how many skills you have uh, possessed over the time of your four years in college right then you have to add your educational details so my 10th standard is from this school i scored around 9.8 cgpa 12th standard from here i was having a combination of bio and maths i haven't added my results because it's not that pretty great and few of the achievements that i have you know attained in this school days and uh, you know then coming to college and uh, what exactly i was doing few of the achievements that i got and what exactly is the industry uh, what exactly is the degree that i was pursuing what is it about and my grades as well that's about education once you done once you done with that you would be do you would have done a lot of uh, online courses certifications and you know workshops boot camps whatever you attend right make sure you are listing it here so i did around 10 to 13 certifications from coursera and from you know udemy all these things and i have made sure that i have added the link to those so now let's say if someone is looking my profile and they want to see what exactly did i do in foundations of project management they just have to click on show credentials once they click on show credentials it they will uh, the page will redirect it to my course certificate which i have pursued which exactly looks like this yeah coming back 
coming back to linkedin so we we have talked about the first heading section of the profile we have talked about the about section we have talked about the experience we have talked about adding the educational details we have talked about adding the license and certifications that you have done and once you do this you're pretty much ready and your linkedin profile is up to date okay coming back is there anything that i'm missing let me just quickly go through the same uh yeah yeah projects so if you have done any projects in your first year second year third year of college you can add it here you can as you can tell that you were associated with the college when you were doing this project you can give a small description about your project now these things are again few things that basically helps you to get more exposure to different different professionals out there in the industry i was volunteering with covid india campaign and uh, that that was post covid time and we were training a lot of individuals from the hospitals we were training uh, you know common people about cpr bystander cpr a lot of things like that and skills now again these are few of the skills that i have attained over the period of time and this you don't have to fill in you will automatically getting that and these is this is very important right now recommendations is basically if, when you are working under someone or when you are working for someone they give reviews about you now when i was working with scaler i helped a lot of people right so i get i i got around seven recommendations from different different people now that the the the, the age group of these people <laughs> differs from freshers to highly experienced folks now this guy rajkumar akula he is having two years of experience roshan was working as a ca because i i know all my learners or all my people who i was able to help so roshan was from ca background currently pursuing software development pooja is a qa engineer working in cognizant right now she is doing software development janesh kumar working with adani solar and uh, tanmay dashrathe again tanmay dashrathe is having 15 years of experience in the software domain currently working with work my day and he's head of engineering there and uh, and few of my college mates who gave good reviews about me so recommendations it is very important it showcases that yes this individual is uh, very down to earth his skill sets are really good he is very open he is approachable he is down to earth he is positive a lot of things it it basically talks a lot of things about you and i have also given few recommendations to other people uh, my manager uh, under him i was working for last 10 months i have given him a recommendation and uh, brand solution manager with whom i worked and you know couple of people i have given recommendations as well now that is all about recommendations so i believe we have covered everything that you should do to first come up with your basic profile in linkedin now, once this is done you are set and then when you go to a home feed what exactly happens linkedin's algorithm will, will work in such a way that you are getting relevant things that you are interested to read or know more about now i am someone who is very much interested in productivity so the kind of feed that i am getting right now is into productivity how to finish more work in 2 hours the 95% of people do in weeks now it is an article which i can read but right now i am not going to obviously scaler uh, my previous organization i keep seeing their post metronic again now again see when i follow these individuals right i get the updates now are you seeking a career with a purpose join me at metronic so there is a opening in metronic which i can apply which is a sales representative position in coimbatore i am currently working as a sdr at zogdog but i will i'm not looking for any shifts right now so in, in because of that reason i won't be applying so see a lot of things right now i would highly recommend you guys to be more active on linkedin rather than using social media like maybe facebook or instagram because you get to see a lot of things you get to learn a lot of things right now world's first bionic prosthetic eye were you aware that apart from prosthetics now we also have prosthetic eyes watch that we watch this video and you will get to know how exactly it works and the science behind it so a lot of things that you can learn from linkedin maybe you can go through and you know explore it further and uh, do comment that what kind of videos would you like to uh, watch Yes, uh, watch ahead because I would be making a detailed video for internships for freshers via LinkedIn. 
and people who are seeking for job opportunities how to develop their profile uh, again a linkedin video apart from that if you are someone who wants to put content in linkedin i will be making a third video which is specifically for the creators who want to start developing content on linkedin so that is something that we would be doing and uh, in the left side of the screen or the profile you can see the summary of your profile the last post that i had posted it is running at around 2000 posts 2000 post impressions right a couple of minutes back it was around 1500 now it's 2006 impressions right so yeah that's about it and uh, do let me know if you want to learn more about linkedin if so then what exactly would you like to learn and then i'll be making that video for sure for you guys okay so that was pretty much about how you can start using linkedin i hope this video was very informative for you guys and uh, as i said do let me know what other videos would you like to see and i'll be making it up for you and apart from that let's say if you want to connect me with me on linkedin then the link to my linkedin profile is given in the description make sure you are updating your profile sending me a connection request and we can be in touch over linkedin as well apart from that uh, whatsapp community is very active and uh, apart from that the merchandise are coming soon and uh, i am yet to do the polls for instagram to select and uh, understand what design aspects will be the best and that's about it guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you guys make sure you are liking the video commenting on the video based on the opinions or suggestions that you guys would have subscribe to the channel press the bell icon so that you are not missing my next video and i'll see you on the next video till then stay safe learn together and grow together